Hi, I'm Graham, and this is Man V Film. The movie I'm going to talk about is Black Cat, which is a new Chris Hemsworth movie, it's directed by Michael Mann, and it's just out in the cinemas. It came and went in America, it had a 70 million budget, and it's a globe trotting, terrorist affair about hackers and all kinds of things like that. Now, sat down to this movie, I was excited about the hacking aspect of it. Good to see Chris Hemsworth back in a movie as well that isn't a superhero one. And you know what I thought? Let's go, let's see what happens. Now it's got the usual Michael Mannisms in it. It's got the digital photography, which it just hasn't quite mastered, especially in the night shots. It doesn't look as good as it, you know they can be. The actual story itself resolves around a, a terrorist attack on a nuclear power plant. I think it's nuclear. I could be wrong. Maybe I never picked that up right. But is that my fault or is that the movie's fault? Anyway, there's an attack in China in a nuclear plant. It explodes and they find out that somebody's hacked in, blew up one of the fans, it caused an explosion. So you've got the Chinese government working with the American government to, they, to look at the code that they found, that was written, the, the hacking programme, and they know that it has to, it's, part of it was written by this hacker that's in jail. You know, and it's your typical geeky hacker, you know, six foot, uh, five, blonde, built, in jail. Um, typical hacker persona. So they get him out of jail to help break the rest of the code and figure out what the hacker's next attack is going to be. From then on you're kind of jumping from there to other parts of America, then over to China, then over to Jakarta. All over the place, yet the cinematography of the movie never looks great. It's got the strange camera angles and you know what Michael Mann's trying to do but it doesn't come together. The story itself doesn't really move all that fast in the, in the machinations of what people are wanting. When you look at what people want in the movie and you're like, well that doesn't really make sense. They actually tell you on point the hacker's doing it a poorer way, there was a better way to do it, and this overly smart hacker, you're just like, well, why didn't you do it? When you find out who the hacker is, it's not a surprise, it's not a mystery, it's not, you know, it's just a guy, and you're like, oh, okay, right. You don't really care for anybody in the movie, and then all of a sudden, in the space of like five minutes, spoiler alert, turn away if you don't like know, everybody dies apart from the two leads, and you're like, well, okay, but you still didn't care anything about the people that died. There's a shout scene at a water side and Michael Mann is famed for these shout scenes. The one in Heat is spectacular and this one's just kind of like, meh, okay, right. The movie's two hours, seven minutes in length and it feels like three. At the end of it, you walk out and you just go, mm, is that it? Even the hacking's not that great. How they do it, how they show it is, is over long, right at the start it goes into the electrical components of a computer and along the nodes and through electrical, and you're like, alright, I get it, can we get back to the action please, I really want to know what the plot of the movie is. And that happens a couple of times in the film, and it's just, it's not engaging, it's not interesting, you're not really caring in the characters, and you know what, it's definitely not something to go and see in the cinema, but you know what, I would even better spent going and seeing Kingsman again. If you haven't seen Kingsman, go and see Kingsman, don't see Black Hat. So Black Hat, probably going to give it a 2 out of 5. It is not even passable. It is a poor show from Michael Mann and you know the guy's very inconsistent and it's been a while since he had a truly great movie. Fingers crossed he can do better next time but this, not worth the money.